So Gregor, we're approaching the first pre-season game on Friday night against Claremont. How has pre-season training been so far? It's been uh, enjoyable, I believe, for both coaches and players. Certainly the, the coaches have enjoyed it. We've enjoyed seeing the work the players are putting in, the improvements they're making. It's been tough, really hard um, physical demands, uh, mental demands as well. Uh, we, the aim was to stress the players playing at a pace um, and making sure they were making decisions all the time. So when it came to the proper games, uh, they should be in control of um, their actions and fit enough to, to execute what they want to execute. But um, no, this, it's, been, it's been hard work over these last six weeks. You talk about the number of weeks of hard work that you, mm. the guys have put in. How happy are you to be approaching the games now? And I'm sure the guys are probably a bit relieved to be have games now to concentrate on. Yeah, well, the, the, the good thing about pre-season is we've got two very challenging games. One against uh, one of the leading sides in Europe, um, Champions Cup runners-up last year in Claremont. We're playing them close to their own ground in the, the, uh, East War, so it's only half an hour away, so a lot of their supporters will be there. They'll have a, a, a very good squad because they start the top 14 the following week, so that's a great challenge for our players. Two weeks after that, we, we go to Canada to play an international side, the first time I think I believe in the club's history. So again, playing away from home, so that, that puts us in, a, um, in a, an environment we're not familiar with, uh, stresses our players, so I believe it'll, it'll improve us. Um, so it's, it's an exciting time playing those, those two teams, exciting to go away for a week and work closely with um, the group and the coaches to, to make sure every, um, everything's covered before we start the season. Yeah, as you say, the Canada trip's really exciting. There's now direct flights from Glasgow, so it's only about five and a half hours. So mm -hmm. that make it much easier for you to go out there, have a few days, and then come back and prepare for the Scarlets match. Yes, it does. It's it's a challenge um, going away from home, um, especially uh, at, at a different uh, country. Um, but it's it's something that we we have to get used to. We're playing Champions Cup. Um, Games in France and England and Wales. We play in our league, Wales, Ireland and, and Italy every uh, second week. So some of the players have to get used to how to get the recovery, how to see a different environment and make sure we impose our game on the opposition. This was a, still a few players away. Tangeli Nairavoros of Australia. Greg Peterson has been in last week. He's away with USA. It'll be good to get everyone back probably over the next few months. And then it, I guess the, the squad changes again a little bit. Yeah, it, it will. I think if you if you put, put the um, the squad that are here and the squad that are away with um, World Cup camps would be would be maybe over sixty players. But obviously, some players are only in for for the World Cup period. But uh, it's been great watching how Greg is is getting match fitness playing for the USA. They had a very good win uh, over Canada um, last week. Uh, Leone with Fiji has been on fire. Um, four four tries against Samoa and the two games against Samoa, which is which is amazing. Uh, and then we've got Tangeli who's working hard um, with the Australian squad, possibly will be selected for them, but uh, if he doesn't make that, the World Cup squad, then we, we're looking forward to him joining us. And obviously our, we, we know what's, what's happening down the road at Murrayfield with the, the Scotland players working really hard, players coming back from injury, like Zamar Bennett, um, uh, who missed out the end of the season, Alex Dunbar, they are, they're really working hard to, to be fit to get in the World Cup squad, but it's, it's good news for us that that they could be fit at the beginning of the season. And just finally, season tickets are selling really well. We're over 4,000. Lots of excitement building ahead of the new mm. campaign, which kicks off on the 5th of September here at Scots and against Scarlets. Yeah, we can't wait. It's it's not long to go now. We were into the pre-season games um, and we'll be, we'll be looking at what selection, um, what team we can put together for that first game. It's it's a tough game. I'm, I'm, I'm glad we're starting at home. Um, to be in front of our own supporters uh, with the, the big crowd behind us um, and, I, and I really think there's there's been momentum growing for for a number of years now especially since we moved to Scotstown but the final has just given it that, that extra kick the people that went to the final want to be a part of, of this season and I'm sure there's a number of new supporters that are going to come along too.